Hi, this is Paul from paulbradby.com and another stocks analysis for an OTC stock, this time SPONF, Sponsor One Inc. Great value this one, volume starting to increase. I'm going to go through the technical analysis in a minute, but remember, on all of my analysis, there's lots of fundamental uh, information in the link below the video or on the blog post or wherever it is, there's going to link to this with... Um, fundamental analysis, information on the company, the sector, a little bit more technical analysis. I mean, you know, this has had growth of 2,720% um, this year. So this is a good looking stock. Uh, and then, you know, what the company does, some more information. This is important with OTC stocks. Yes, we've got some great technical analysis and it's, you know, it's positioning very well for, for the, the next move up, if you like. But do do your due diligence, have a look. Um, at what they do uh, so you can understand a little bit more about this company and what sort of future um, it has so let's move back to the chart so we got the listing back in 2020 uh, we pulled back to these lows and we found fantastic support here and then the volume starts to pick up so this is where I want to take up the story here I'm using the Elliott Wave Analysis uh, tool purely because we've had a trend. Although it's been a parabolic move, uh, we've still had a reasonably measured uh, profit-taking pullback. So I want to go through that now. So with an Elliott Wave, we have a Wave 1, a Wave 2, and then we have the big impulse move up. And this was pretty parabolic. Uh, you know, we're talking one, two, three, four days for those highs with that sort of accumulation volume each day so increase in volume and then as usual with these OTC stocks there's some profit taking because people get in these to, to take some profit but this profit taking has found good support usually we like to see on an Elliott Wave 4 pullback the profit taking find support in this red zone but we have to be a little bit sensitive here in that that wave three was literally four days, okay, maybe five or six, um, but that was parabolic. So what we sort of defer to, if you like, is looking at the performance of the wave four on an Elliott wave oscillator. That has to be that pullback, that crowning, if you like, from this hide here on the bottom subchart down that crowning through on the red has to be between 90 and 140 percent of that highest point on that oscillator and that's in there right now the stochastic has to cross over in the oversold zone which it has done we also look at the behavior of the wave four as far as volume is concerned so remember wave four is profit taking we had that massive volume coming up here and then as you can see the volumes really started to taper off here each day on this profit taking pullback we found support at our 55 stroke 89 day um, EMA cloud so you know predominantly we'll look at 55 to hold 55 has got to be above the 89 the 55 is in gray 89 is in purple what we're looking for there is the gray above the purple to make sure we're still in a bullish uh, sentiment if you like we um, we have good support in that gray zone right now but we're still looking for that to, to to move up some more and that volume to increase as that price action starts to move up there so what we're looking for is that behavior in the markets to say hey this is good value again after that profit taking i'm going to start to buy and that volume will start to pick up so will the price action and that means we then on that fifth wave move but also just briefly we had this pivot point here Okay, and another pivot point of the day that forms a, a zone, if you like, and it's just tested in there again as well. So we've got both linear and non linear support on this profit taking pullback. We have an automated fifth wave target there. Top end of that target zone is 0.14, so 14 cents. But you know, entries I can't really talk about right now, but we need to be above that uh, five cents maybe around about you know 0.57 cents in, in a case to get through these pivots before we're comfortable that this um, this this is starting to move and we're going to test and get these new highs around 14 cents here so again we're in a critical phase right now we're looking for this support to hold 
We're then looking for bullish price action with increased volume uh, to, to show that we are moving away from this support zone to give us confidence to get into this stock, which has grown massively um, in, in recent months. We've had that natural profit taking pullback and we're just looking to get back in this uh, stock right now. So technically this is setting up very well. Lots of great fundamentals uh, and information on the company uh, in that link below. Uh, and it's good, looking like a really good value, value for money type of trade with good growth potential here. So um, again, technical analysis, you've got the fundamentals. Um, you know, this has behaved what we would say is normal okay uh, so if it's behaving normally and we can measure uh, you know measure that behavior um, this 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 is looking uh, quite a song strong stock for the rest of this year so hopefully this helps and I'll speak to you all really soon